All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this Seagate. Uh, this is a Seagate expansion external drive. Um, I don't know if they have a special name for this, but the part number is 9SF2A4-500. Okay, I don't know if there's a screw hidden under here. Usually it's not a screw and it's just molded plastic stuff. Um, so usually we're gonna have to pop this out. So let's go ahead and see how we can pop this out. I'm gonna use this thin metal tool here and we gotta figure out where the clips are in here, okay? So very likely we're gonna have to pop a bunch of clips and then um, figure out how to get this thing apart. So let's see. I might have to let the customer know that the plastic shell is probably gonna be ruined because most likely once we pop this apart it's not going to be able to go back together but uh yeah so here you can see we're able to pop this out just like this so what you do is you get the tool in and you pull down so that pulls this part of the plastic up and pushes this one down and that releases the clips at least hopefully it's releasing clips and not just breaking plastic so there you go you can see all right, we're gonna go over to this. Oh, it is breaking plastic. Let me let the customer know real quick. Um, this is a really old drive. They probably won't care because they want their data. And yeah, I'll be back. All right, so they're just like, well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue popping this thing open, okay? So after, hopefully we can look inside and see if there's a way to kind of prevent breaking the clips, but I kind of doubt it, all right? And this side, for some reason, doesn't wanna pop out. Oh, there we go, okay, come on it popped itself back in. So this side doesn't seem to want to stay popped out, so I'm not sure what we're going to do here. You can see this side stayed popped out for sure. Let's see if we can go around the back. And yeah, you want to make sure you don't drop this thing because you don't want to cause some vibration shock damage to it. But there you go, it's working. Be careful not to poke in too far. You don't want to damage the hard drive or other stuff. Uh, most likely the adapter if we're lucky, it's the adapter that's bad and not the hard drive itself. If that's the case, then we'll be able to um, pull the data out using an external enclosure, another adapter. All right, so we got all around the edges. Here you can see the clip here. So it does hold in like that. And let's see if we can pop this. Okay, looks like the bottom here kind of also gets held in somehow. So let's see, do we need to somehow pry this out? I don't know. Okay, so this clip, it looks like it goes a little further forward here. Okay, there's actually two layers of this clear part. I don't know if it's gonna pry out from here. Hmm. I don't know, it's stuck in there. Okay, well, the whole hard drive is actually lifting up now. Oh, this just swings open like that, okay. So this has a like, swinging hinge mechanism. And here now we should be able to pull this whole hard drive up. You can see the LED light came out as well. Okay, you can see all the broken plastic pieces. We're gonna have to throw, okay. Let's get rid of that junk. Okay, so hopefully now you can kind of see how this um, actually works. They have these little latches here and then the thing kind of clips into there. So yeah, I don't know how else you would lift it because that's probably the only way you can do it. And it looks like there's a clip or a latch that goes in here, and then this swings into that little piece as well. Um, but yeah, okay, so got that. Let's throw away this junk. Okay, so basically in here, you would normally have a normal two point, or sorry, there's a three and a half inch SATA hard drive. So what we have is a little adapter that reads those, three and a half inch SATA. Um, in order to use that, this does need external power. Uh, and yeah, we'll see. We're gonna take the drive out. We're using a PH2 screwdriver bit to undo the screws on the side. Give me a second, I'm getting some messages. I need to mute my phone. Okay, so we're gonna take out these screws. Okay, just like this. that we're gonna go over here and we're gonna take these out okay and once we get these out we should hopefully be able to slide the drive out we do need to peel this light um, thing away so let's get this out of there okay all right 
and then we'll grab this and we should be able to kind of so I lifted it up slightly so I can grab the hard drive better and we're gonna wiggle this as we kind of slowly pull and there we go so here you can see the SATA adapter in there okay and yeah I don't see how you can oh okay there are two screws in here if you did want to take the whole adapter out there's one screw there and one screw in that hole but you don't have to remove this adapter to be able to work on it so here we have the hard drive it's a again a standard three and a half inch SATA hard drive hopefully we're lucky I'm gonna plug this into my laptop using this adapter um, powering it externally and if we're lucky the hard drive will work if it doesn't then I guess we'll just put it back together and consider it um, you'd have to send it to one of those expensive data recovery places so I'm gonna go test that real quick plug it in my computer and then whether it works or not I'm gonna show you guys putting this drive back in all right see you guys in a bit all right, so sadly the hard drive is actually dead. You can hear it clicking. You hear that? Yeah, that's a dead hard drive. That's the, uh, um, probably the head of the thing crashing into the platters. So it's not going to work. Anyways, let's go ahead, I guess, and reassemble this thing. Though the customer actually will probably want it outside, so maybe I won't reassemble it. Um, anyways, let me get this back in. Most likely their adapter is fine in that case. So this piece is probably okay, and it's the hard drive that's dead. So let me see what the customer wants to do. I'm gonna bring it out to them and let them know. Okay, see you guys in a bit. All right, so the customer decided to just uh, leave it outside because they're probably gonna send it to data recovery. But basically you would slide the hard drive back in, get this all taped back in, obviously get these four screws back into place. And then what do I do with the plastic box? Oh, here. And then obviously you just drop this back in. <laughs> More plastic, oh, I broke off that clip. So here you can see actually it's not a hinge, it's a weird clip. All right, but anyways, you would do that, and then this would go upside down this way into there, and this would just close into place, line everything up, and then that's pretty much it. So that would be that. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one If this video helps you out, please make sure to like Comment subscribe share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living and if you can't do that it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see other than that that's all there is to it thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one let's drop this bye oh also if you want data recovery i highly recommend this company called 300 dollars data recovery they're in like la area um, if you do use them please put me as like how you found out about them and yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one bye